everybody. I am Elizabeth from the Indian Trails Library and today I am going to show you how you can make a marble painting with shaving cream and I'm going to be using liquid watercolor but you can also use food coloring or if you have one of these palette watercolors that you can get fairly cheap at most stores. Um, you can break it apart and add it into a cup with some water and stir it. If you do it this way though, you're going to want to make sure that you give it a little while to sit since it can take a while for the paint itself to actually dissolve. And you will need paper and a shallow bin of some type. Um, a cake pan works really well, or if you've got a sheet pan with an edge to it, that works well too. If it's something that you really don't want to accidentally get dyed with the paint, I would recommend layer, um, covering it with foil. But I don't particularly mind if this gets painted, so I will use this. I am also going to be using gloves so that I don't get my hands even more painted than they already are, as well as... I have a laminated index card that I will be using to scrape off the shaving cream as well as some craft sticks that I can use to stir everything up. Okay, so to get started, you're going to want to get your bin of some type and if you want them gloves. Again, you don't need gloves, it's only if you care if you have get your hands all covered in paint. And then you will take your shaving cream. It does work better if you shake it. And you will want to spray a bunch of shaving cream into your bin. This can take a little bit of time depending on how big your bin is. And how old your shaving cream is. So I'm going to add a decent amount of coverage. My bin is a little bit bigger than I truly need it to be. That does not sound good. Either. Okay. So I covered mine mostly on the inside square. And then you will take your paint of some type, your food coloring, your, your water color that looks like this or if you have any of the, the liquid watercolors. And you're just going to kind of drop it in or sprinkle it in. And you can add as many colors as you want. I'm going to do some pink and some purple. The more colors you add, the more colors will be in your marble. Add some green. You can play with the amount of colors if you want to. Orange. And I'll add some orange. Maybe some unusual color combinations, but that's okay. And yellow. Okay. So once you just sprinkle in your colors, it will look like this. Oh, look, and it's running. Then you're going to take your stick and you're going to just swirl it around. You don't want to swirl it around too much and completely mix up your colors. You just want it to be nicely swirled. Okay? You can put that to the side. Then you can get your piece of paper. I do recommend cardstock because regular printer paper is thin enough that it sometimes is hard to scrape off everything without tearing the paper. So you're going to take your paper and you're going to press it down into the shaving cream. You're going to push it down, make sure you cover it completely, squish it nicely, and then you pull it up. When you pull it up, it's going to look very messy and you'll want to set it down. Another thing I didn't mention, I would recommend covering the surface you are using because 
These will often dye and stain the, car the table. Put this to the side. And then I'm going to use my laminated sheet. You can also use like a craft stick to scrape it off or a ruler. I just found that the laminated sheet works really well because then I can kind of scoop it. So I'm going to tip this down so you can see it a little bit better. I am going to scrape this along the surface to try to get up as much of this shaving cream as I can on my first pass. And then I can put it back into my container. If you have a towel nearby and you think that you need to wipe more off, you can wipe off whatever surface you have. And then do another scrape. And then you have some marbled artwork. Even with the cardstock, you will see that it's very flimsy. You will need to let it dry. We have found that these, this is a really good method to decorate um, bookmarks for gifts or make cards. Um, you can also make it, make something like this and then like, cut it out in a fun shape and hang it up in a window and it makes really pretty designs when the sun shines through it. That is how you make marbled watercolors. And the fun thing is, after you do it, this is what it looks like in here. But all you have to do if you want to make more is add some more shaving cream. Oh, this one's a much better shaving cream. Add more on top. Okay, let's try this one. And then like, if you're using this one, this style, I would stir it up really well and then kind of use use whatever you use to stir to flick some onto the, the shaving cream. Don't pour too much at once, otherwise it might just flatten your shaving cream. So I've got yellow there. I've got some orange. We're gonna flick, flick, flick. And then what was the other color I used? Purple! We'll add some purple in. Again, gently flicking. You'll use the same method you did with the other one where you use the stick to stir it all up. You'll you can tell that this one is a slightly lighter color because it's got a different style of paints. You can probably do this with tempura paint too, but I have not tried that, so I cannot guarantee it will work. But let's see how this one turns out. So we'll take another sheet, press it down nice and hard. Because there is color underneath, you might see some of the previous colors bleed through. Lift it up. Oh, yep, we're gonna have some previous colors. Look at, look at all that shaving cream. Good thing I have two cards. So I will scrape along this, get to the really heavy amount and just pull that up. Yay. And because I used some lighter, less concentrated paints, you can see that the colors didn't come out quite as strongly, but they're still there. They're, they're more pastel. But this is how you, so that is how you would make the watercolor um, shaving cream marble paints, painting. Food coloring and the liquid cup, liquid does seem to work the best. But all of it is fun. All of it is pretty. And you can have lots of really fun, lots of fun with doing this and making cool projects. Thank you all for joining me. I hope you guys have fun making your own 
marbled paint. Thank you.